Yo, what up? It's your boy, and y'all already know, I got the PlayStation Live Event 2013 recap. It just happened like a couple hours ago, so I don't know when you guys will see the pilot on Thursday or Friday. But I uh, just finished watching it, and it was amazing, man. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, I couldn't, you know, like, believe my eyes, man. The future is here, people. Next-gen consoles are here. Get up out your seat. You think it's not coming. It's coming, people. So I'm going to give you a little recap of what happened. Took a little notes, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be informed. Like I said, I ain't your number one guy. But hopefully you guys appreciate it, man. So let's get to it. Here are some PlayStation 4 game titles they announced at today's PlayStation Live Event 2013. Knack, Killzone Shadowfall, Drive Club, Infamous Second Son, The Witness, Deep Down, it's a working title though, Watch Dogs, Diablo 3, yes, the PC game is finally going on the PlayStation 4 console and also Destiny the Bungie director of the Halo series will also be available for the PS3. Now I'm going to give you the specs of the PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. A week ago the PlayStation 4 picture was leaked and wasn't confirmed but now at this event it has been confirmed that that is the controller and it's looking nice people. It got the share button over there. Hopefully you guys can see that. The touchpad very interactive they're gonna say now the light bar was just like the PlayStation move sensor bar and there's gonna be like almost like the Wii U now it's gonna be like a little camera to detect the little uh, light bar you see right there it's a little blue light bar during today's event this saying the PlayStation 4 is gonna be like the PC if you check out the CPU the GPU is all gonna probably be the same or even better since is is the next gen console now on the new PlayStation 4 controller when you press the home button or bring it back where you left off on the game during the event the directors were saying they want to share more videos than the past consoles with your PSN friends with uh, any friend make it more easier that's why they implemented the share button so make it real fast and easy so uh, you'll share if you just got a good game man you just you just kill somebody in a silly way you press that share button and, and bam It'll be to anybody you want. Now, when you press the share button, instantly you can live stream from Ustream, I believe they said, or Twitch.tv. So, the specs aren't all the way there, but they did say that. What I really liked about the event was that they're implementing and focusing a lot on the PlayStation Move. The PlayStation Move didn't, is not really, and it hasn't been getting much recognition on the PlayStation 3 and it's not been good I mean Xbox Connect is superior all these uh, other uh, you know move you know devices and uh, the, the PlayStation uh, 4 is focusing on the PlayStation move and one example they gave I'll try to put a picture up here they said like you know being more creative the PlayStation 4 is trying to be like the creative console so they showed a little demo there I don't know if I'll put it up there or not I'll probably put some pictures or something, but so you can, you know, be an artist about it. So you can build your own world, build, uh, you know, sculptures, and then it, even if you build your own world, you can play in it. So not only can you build and sculpture some characters, you can play in the world you just created. That's why they're implementing that the PlayStation 4 is the creative console. During the demonstration of the new PlayStation 4 game Drive Club, they were showing that they paid more attention and put a lot of more details and lighting everywhere and patterns. So they're saying they put a lot more detail and uh, everywhere, including like I said, lighting, uh, little effects, little glares, little uh, make it more like like real, you know, like some you know something for real where you clean a car, you know, sparkles or well, not sparkles, but it shines. And uh, make it more uh, realistic is uh, what they're including in the PS4. One topic that was brought up is that the PlayStation 4 wants to bring more human emotions. Meaning, wants the player to interact with the character in the game. Wants it to feel what it's going through. Wants it, uh, you know, realistically, you know, know what's... If, to be a part of the game, you know what I mean? To actually feel like you're in the game, just like they're saying in the movies, you know what I mean? We get so much emotion driven out when we watch a movie. That's the same way they want to portray 
when uh, on the PlayStation 4 game. So uh, that should be good, man. That should be good. Now we're going over the new PlayStation Network Store for the PlayStation 4. They were demonstrating today that they want the PlayStation 4 profiles uh, to be more like social networking websites like Twitter, Facebook, you know, all those other ones, Tumblr and all this. They wanted to make it's uh like you know more like the regular social network uh websites you know what actually your picture and ac actually you know where you're from and you know what kinds of things are you into so they make it more interactive you're trying to have more people come in the playstation uh network you know what i mean not just anybody they're trying to you know implement everything and they're saying that facebook and i think they said in ustream I believe I'll put a picture up there that's going to be connected there. So you can connect your Facebook and your stream account. And I believe they might have said Twitter account to your PlayStation Network profile. So they're trying to make it real interactive, people. Now when one of your PS... Now, when one of your PSN friends buys a game in the PlayStation Network store or outside, you'll get a notification. What I really liked about what they said that now every PlayStation 4 game will have a demo. So if you're not sure if you want to buy it, you'll definitely get to try it out at least 5 or 10 minutes of the game probably of the demo. So if you're not too sure if you want to buy it, play the demo and if you do, there you go. The new PSN store will personalize in the kind of games you want. They also just announced that now every PS4 game will also be available for the PS Vita. What they were also pushing hard is they're saying eventually every PlayStation game, meaning PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, even the PSN uh, store games will be available for the PlayStation 4 people. And last but not least, we didn't get an exact release date, but they said it will be coming out holiday 2013. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments below if you want me to make more videos like this. Uh, give it a like, give it a favorite and all that. I ain't your number one guy, like I said, but hopefully I gave you the information that I could. Uh, the live stream was awesome, man. Like I said, my, my uh, mind was blown. And, uh, man, I cannot wait for the PlayStation 4, man. Throughout the whole 2013 year, they said they're going to be releasing all types of specs. And we didn't get the exact console, which I was a little disappointed. Uh, you know, two hour or so uh, live stream. So, uh, you know, waiting all that time for the PlayStation 4 console not viewing, uh, be being available, excuse me, is uh, pretty disappointing. But, uh, you know, throughout the year, they said they're going to probably... Uh, you know share some specs about it and they said probably e3 so that's coming up probably in june or july i believe or may i believe uh you guys know but other than that guys hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, give it a like and other than that guys stay safe stay positive and i'll see you guys on next one yeah.